putting them up there to dry and then I would try to smoke them. <laughs> All right, guys, today I am out here in Maslin, Ohio. I'm on Lincoln Way, and I am in front of what used to be a place called Goody's Restaurant. It was a Greek restaurant. I worked here when I was a teenager. It was my first, I mean, I hesitate to call it a legit job, but my first job that I actually worked for somebody and collected a paycheck. I did plenty of stuff before that, you know, delivering papers and just hustling and stuff like that. But I mean, I was 15. I remember my dad brought me in here and uh, they were actually having a meeting before they even opened with uh, you know new employees and that. And we came in and talked to the guy, his name was Gus. And uh, my dad said, do you need anything like a, a dishwasher or anything like that? And Gus said, yeah, and I was hired. So uh, this is what it is right now. It's called Appliance Brothers and it's obviously an appliance shop. Um, I believe it's used appliances. There might be some new ones in there. I'm really not sure. I haven't looked around a whole lot yet. I did just talk to the guy inside. He said we can step in. I can show you around a little bit. We just can't go into the back, but, uh, but I'll tell you some stories about that too. Now, before we go in here, I will say this. I don't remember what this building was before it was goodies. Okay, so let's go ahead in here, take a look around. It's funny because I haven't been in here since I was like 16 years old. So this all, let me zoom out, there we go. This all used to have booths in here. It was the restaurant, obviously. This was part of the dining room. And then through here was another part of the dining room. I don't recall that it was ever really all that busy. I mean, we had our busy spells, you know, I, I seem to always have dishes to do. <laughs> but there definitely wasn't like a, a flow of people in here just constantly. But I do remember right back here is where they were having that meeting when my dad first brought me in. And, uh, and we talked to them and like I said, you know, he said, do you guys need any dishwashers or anything like that? And the guy was like, yep. And uh, so I was hired basically on the spot. And I do remember that uh, me and the other new employees, we came in and we did work for like days. I mean, cleaning up, scrubbing in here and pulling up old carpet and stuff. Things that shouldn't have been, you know, our job. I mean, we should have clocked in and started washing dishes or waiting tables or whatever. But, um, you know, I mean, that's just, that's what it was, I guess. And so that's what we did. All right, now I was told not to film back here, but you can see there's a doorway behind that fridge right there. And through that doorway was uh, the boss's office. And there was another small area in there, which I believe may have also been part of the dining room. Um, and then through another door there is in the back where I worked most of the time, where it was like washing dishes. There was the, the dishwashers back there, obviously. <laughs> And uh, and just everything else. Uh, that's where they did the cooking, the kitchen, and everything was back there. And uh, I don't know. I mean, the job was okay. It, it wasn't too bad. But I ended up quitting the job because the guy had me scheduled where you didn't really have a schedule. I just kind of came in every weekend. I think it was on like Fridays and Saturdays at 6 o'clock in the evening, I think it was. And that was just, you know, there, like I said, there was not a posted schedule. That was just what I always did because that's what they always had me do. So this one particular uh, weekend, it, I was out with my friends and, okay, yes, we were getting drunk at a cornfield. <laughs> and I got home and it was like 4 o'clock and my sister said, Gus has been calling and calling and calling. You're supposed to call him. So I called him back and, um, you know, I had two hours till I had to be at work as far as I was concerned. And he starts yelling at me and screaming because I'm not there and they were so busy as if I was just supposed to have mental telepathy and being half drunk like an idiot, I went off on him and, uh, and I yelled at him and I said, if you ever yell at me again like that, I'm gonna quit. And so he yelled at me again and I quit right there on the spot. And I remember that when I came in for my last paycheck, um, he made me wait forever. He made me stand there and just wait and wait and wait and wait. And then he finally brought it to me. And I mean, I apologized to him, um, but things were never the same after that. 
<laughs> I didn't take the job back. He didn't offer me the job back. And uh, if he did, I, I don't know if I would have taken it or not. I probably wouldn't have. But uh, I don't know, that's my, that's my story from goodies here in Maslin. I do remember that I, I also, <laughs> let me show you around the outside here a minute. Okay, so let's just walk around the outside here for a minute. Obviously there's the front again. Appliance Brothers, I can't remember what the sign said up there. I'll have to look it up and I'll, I'll pop it in here. But uh, I remember when, when I was working here, they sent me upstairs in this, I mean, I kind of called it the attic. But this room upstairs, they sent me up there, and it was just blazing hot. Now, I never went through this door here, but this door here is where I always entered. This was uh, the back room where the dishwashers were and all that stuff. And I remember, like, okay, we had shelves and everything over on this side. But over here was where the dishwasher was. So as I was washing dishes and goofing around, I was watching out this window here. And there was like a, uh, some kind of a shelf or something over here. I don't remember what it was. But I remember as a teenager, I was just stupid and curious and doing stupid things. So I remember putting vegetables up there, like shredding vegetables, wrapping them up and putting them up there to dry. And then I would try to smoke them. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright guys, that's it for goodies. If you live in Maslin, come down and check it out. Appliance Brothers now. They might have what you need. I'll see you guys later. Peace.